be mentioned in that like this part right here these question marks are required but um, they also kind of can be thought of to the PHP interpreter as um, a uh, that it starts a PHP line when it's really not that's just how XML is and it messes up with PHP in that function so what I can do is just say echo and I can put it in quotes and everything's happy in that way. So I now have the content in and all I need to do here is pretty much get rid of the, one of these posts here and set up a um, an interjecting PHP section which will then loop around and fill in this post uh, content. Now so what I do here is I do PHP I close it there and I start another PHP thing here and I close it there. So what I want to do here is first do my SQL because I want to get um, the rows that are contained within this uh, post uh, table. And just uh, to put in a second post I'm going to go here to uh, put in some more information and some other content to work with and so on and the same thing with a date uh, with the Unix timestamp okay there you are somehow it got away from me so now I have that uh, content there so now I have the posts here and it, we don't really need to do it by ID but we want to order by our date because sometimes if we're doing a draft or something and it's put into let's just say ID 2 um, but it is posted after post 3 comes out um, the date will be later so we want to order by the date so we can pretty much copy what's right here that's given to us from PHP my admin and use that in our SQL so I'm going to say my SQL equals boy I'm just not having fun here today and I'm going to post this in and make it a bit uh, cleaner to read here. So, um, and we just we can cut out this extra stuff there. And there's our SQL. So now what we need to do is say our result equals our MySQL. Um, whoops. And well query and I'm going to pretty much put in my SQL right there and now we have a result but we need to process it and for example put it into our post so I'm gonna say for each dollar sign no no I don't want to use for each I want to use while row equals mysql fetch array meaning each row um, of my result and then I just bring this down and I put that there so now I have this while loop which encapsulates every single post and my row content is what I can put in so for the author if I just put in row and I put in the uh, username it's going to just be a number so what we want to do is go into this point right here and I want to also uh, pretty much um, do a query for what the username stands for. Now this is not the most efficient way of doing it but um, this is just a concept thing. So I'm going to say my SQL equals uh, select star or rather uh, post name from users where my username no where my ID equals and then I'm going to put in my row username because uh, remember there's this username column right here and that field has a setting of one and this will put in 
and because it's completely contained within the database I don't have to really worry about doing the MySQL uh, safety stuff with uh, the escaping so I now have that SQL done and I'm going to say uh, you know the basic result stuff but I'm going to, have to rename it you know with uh, a different result number or variable and I pretty much just have to do this real quick and just say Thor and I'm just going to say echo author uh, zero because it's an array now I'm now going to go ahead and because um, I need um, I have this result here I need to change it and now it pertains only to this query right here which has the author now back to the post I can go ahead and continue with this and say echo row and I can put in my title right here but I it seems that I forgot to put in a title column so no fear I'll just put in title right here and I can go ahead I'll save this come here and I can edit the structure by putting one field after username and I'm going to click on go and I'm going to type in field for uh, the title and the title is going to be a various character at 255 uh, length and I'll just do 256 to be happy with everybody who is so proud of the, of the number that is a power of 2 so I'll just save that and now I might as well go back in and edit both of these and put in a title for them so I'm going to say uh, happy tacos and I'm going to go here and I'm going to say some content and I'm going to say go and now we have the SQL that we need so back to um, our blog database and our blog title we can come back to the editor and uh, because we named that title column uh, title we don't have to uh, worry about um, about having an incorrect name because we already titled it title and now the content I'm going to go in and do PHP just like the other ones and I'm going to say and also because it can contain uh, further advanced things I'm going to say HTML entities um, this pretty much makes any characters like this or like that um, appropriately uh, put into the text so that it is uh, valid to the browser so I'm going to say HTML entities of my row of content so theoretically now I should have it going and searching for every single row then matching the username ID to a